Welcome to another episode of We're Gonna Look at Dinosaur Games That Are Coming Out, Critique Them, and Hopefully Not Build Ourselves Up Too Much. Because that is what we are as a community mostly known for doing. <laughs> so, oh, let's not let's address the elephant in the room first. We've had our sort of lackluster dinosaur games uh, come to us. Mesozoica uh, being the first one that comes to mind. However, uh, there have been two new trailers, or at least a trailer released for a a game that has been announced uh, like a whole year ago. Uh, they've done another trailer, so I'm quite eager to see how that one looks now because out of all of the games that were coming out that I was oh I was expecting it was on the lower end so with that one what we'll do is watch the original trailer probably go over why I think it might not be the best but then we go to the new trailer which I hope will prove me wrong because that's what I want I want all these games to turn out amazing but at the same time I can't act like I haven't been disappointed in the past. You know, not only my circle, the stomping lands as well. Luckily, before my time uh, as a YouTuber, but it still was a thing. And, you know, we also had that dinosaur documentary, Stephen Fry, not too long ago, which was again a very big disappointment. But we are entering the uncharted territory of Jurassic Worldless Universe. Just to rewind quickly, 2015, there were a bunch of different dinosaur games that were announced around about 2015, Mesozoica being one of them, because of the hype of Jurassic World. You know, dinosaurs were coming back into the mainstream, uh, audiences were hungry for a new dinosaur game to sink their teeth into. Little did we know, the only one we would really get is Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2. Aside from Jurassic World The Game and Jurassic World Alive, which were app games. Eight years. Eight freaking years since the first movie to the last movie of the Jurassic World franchise, we only got basically four games and two of them were the same. <laughs> that being Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2, basically. Um, but now, hopefully, Studios have had the time to take for their their games and make good ones and not rush them out Because I'm not counting Mesozoica that did come out during the rush, but that was 100% what it was It was a rush product and it didn't last even a month I don't think before it was discontinued. That's enough of me telling you what I thought. Let's see what you think of the trailer There we go. Yes So right off the bat gorgeous, I mean these these days you cannot fault games. They will always look a beautiful, especially if they're an Unreal Engine or a CryEngine or whatever this is. So, setting some scenes, some nice shots. Again, gorgeous environment. Can't fault it at all. A Mayan temple. I wish In I hadn't come here for this. Okay. This is to be a theme of some prehistoric games going for the tribal thing. Um, okay. Some I FPS. Forbidden gold. <laughs> Opens forbidden gate. Some ominous cave paintings with dinosaurs. Humans lived alongside them, maybe. A plesiosaur, or py pylosaur, or whatever you want to call it. In the water. A saber tooth cat! Because, I don't know. <laughs> Some unfeathered raptors. Of course, we had toes a second ago. All this death. A Robert Muldoon uh, shot there. Homage to Jurassic if Park. Have the chance to do it all again. A Thalassio <laughs> for Bad Titan. you have done? And there it is. Instinction. Now that was a highly rated uh, trailer when it came out. Everyone was losing their mind over it. Um, and of course, me and loads of other dinosaur YouTubers, you know, we, we, uh, we looked at it, watched it with bated breath. But really, I just want to break down what does this trailer say about the game, apart from it looking gorgeous, um, because this really is just a movie piece. But what assets do we see in here that prove that maybe we're in for something good. Well, we have bats flying, which is just one animation that they just repeat. We have an interesting setting with some Mayan things. Not really my bag, if I'm going to say. It, it kind of reminds me of Trespasser. Like, Trespasser was this, you know, Jurassic Park uh, Lost World game that came out for the PC. First person, female uh, protagonist. 
Um, we'll not talk about the boobs, because that was weird. Uh, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it had also a link to the uh, the tribe or pre indigenous people who lived on uh, Sauna before Injun took control. And uh, the Isle kind of does a bit of that. Um, it had tribals, it was going to have tribals, God knows. Um, and this is kind of doing a similar thing. But the only dinosaurs we see that move properly is this Sukamimus Baryonyx. And throughout the entire time, it's just doing one walk animation. So they've got the model, they've animated walking. That's it. And when it comes to actual gameplay, uh, we just see this one, sh well, there's two shots, I think. This one being of a gun shooting at the Sukumimus, which doesn't even have any hit effect, no damage. Sukumimus doesn't even acknowledge this. It is literally just, they've set up the scene, the uh, Sukumimus is walking and the gun shoots at it, or the guy or the camera shoots at it, and that's it. The, the Suko would just keep on walking forever to run off a cliff, I'd imagine. Uh, this, again, this is a year old. I'm just telling you my thoughts. Um, with this weird, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the, the gold medallion, which is a bit like Pirates of the Caribbean, the, the forbidden treasure, I'd imagine, but it opens a door, and this unlocks secrets, I assume, to a lost world. Mm. Um, and then you've got some cave paintings over there. This is a weird shot. And, and I can only imagine that they put it in the trailer because, hey, look, we're going to have aquatics. Hey, hey, you like those? And it's just like, well, it could great have it. Have it do something. And this is a lot of, this happens a lot with the dinosaurs or creatures in this, where they just hear and they don't do much. The Bliosaur is here, the Sabertooth Cat's here. I can only imagine it's it's just, it's a bit like when Dominion put in the Dimetrodon to try and hype up Spino fanboys. Uh, it's like, oh, remember that scene from Just Part 3? Maybe they'll have a Spino. And then it wasn't. But maybe, you know, we still have yet to see how this game develops. And we have another trailer to check out as well. But a lot of the dinosaurs are just on their idle animations like this one. I think this raptor here and also this raptor, uh, they both do the same animations. They both turn their head and do a shake or something. If you watch carefully. So they're all sort of, yeah, see. Or maybe they're, no, they're animated separately. But again, basically it just feels very staged to me anyway. The other scene, this scene here, especially where you do have a first person, but when they're moving, they're not moving. Of course, the game's not out yet. There's still a, lot, still a lot of polish to put into your game. But at the same time, why show it in the trailer if it's not, you know, if it doesn't look good? And if you're going to show actual gameplay, show actual gameplay. Um, the only thing I can think of is that they didn't really have too much to show, but they had a deadline and they had to meet it possibly. I mean, that's just me speculating. But again, you have these raptors come towards the camera and they don't really do anything. They just kind of go, <laughs> and there you go. And then we cut to another, a shot that maybe it's exactly gameplay footage, but to me, it seems like they've added a few little uh, touches to make it look even better here and there. But again, we just have a flying dinosaur because... Showing that we are gonna have flying dinosaurs. I, I really don't know, especially if you look closely at this uh, this thalasso, whatever it's called. Um, its leg is gonna be really long at the back. I think what they've done is they posed it in a way that looks cool, but you know, so it's not real gameplay for Anyway, to me, it felt very staged. I'd love to be proved wrong. And now we're gonna take a look at the latest trailer with hopefully. I'm wanting to see some actual gameplay. I'm wanting to see some actual, just some AI. You know, some some of the, the dinosaurs actually being controlled by something or maybe chasing you or looking around, doing their actual animations that you would see in game. Here we go. So this is the one they've just re released now. Um, this is alpha footage. Okay. Very slow Diabloceratops. All right, so we're actually seeing some gameplay footage now. Right, so a time travel thing. Uh huh. Why, why do we linger on that shot so much? Why do we get a drop? <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, do I need to say much else? Everything that I basically said about the- Oh god, those fonts, man! What a dare! 
double space two. Pl play it. Oh my god, what? How many funds do you want to have? <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no. No, no, that just proved everything right. This, this was basically, a, this came out, I think the other day, a whole year after that previous trailer. So I was expecting to see some really good progress, but if we, if we just go through it again, some more, like it says, does this one say pre-alpha footage? No, this one doesn't say pre-alpha footage, although it sort of comes up there. We've got this person walking over, a, they're very floaty footsteps. So it seems to me that they're just doing a walk cycle and they just moved it across. So again, it's not really, I mean, it's filmed in engine, but it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like there's a person with a controller on that. It's just they've stuck the camera on the model and then look, they have like free run with the camera and they've just pointed it down. This Diablo Ceratops, I mean, I'm sorry about the, the crazy bit right here when I'm pausing it all the time. It's very slow. Again, it seems like whoever is in control of this production is focusing way more on the shots rather than showing us an actual game. I don't know about you. Again, we're seeing loads of dinosaurs. Uh, like an Akalosaur there, for what reason? Uh, no reason, it's just doing a roll. A Quetzal! A Quetzal gliding so effortlessly. And then we just have a crocodile. Like, what are we looking at here? Why did you put this in a trailer? It's like, oh yeah, we made a crocodile. Great. Um, what are you, what are you trying? You trying to tell me you have a crocodile? Great. But it's not even animated. And it's not even in any scene. What are you? Am I the only one who's seeing this? <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, some of this is cool, but again, we're seeing uh, again, lovely models, lovely environment, but no actual gameplay. <laughs> this is a game. I mean, you could say, oh, well, they reload a thing. I don't know about you. I'm, I, like I said, I come from a little bit of a jaded perspective where we have been taken advantage of in the past and hype has gotten out of control. And then before we know it, the rug's pulled and we're left with an unfinished game. Um, I was I was really hoping to see something here that would just cement in my mind that this is going to be really cool. Uh, this, this time thing, where we're going back in time to all different universes where like, oh, there's a Carnotaurus there. And I mean, yes, look at their pre-alpha footage showing us this beautiful eggs uh, rendered tribal stone or rock with, um, t I don't know, it's a lovely hand with blood and it's very well textured. But... To me, that looks like this has just been made for this one scene. Maybe it's not. Maybe it, the game is beautiful and for some odd reason, they're not showing me what I need to see to really believe this is gonna be great. And what we will do, we're gonna look at some other dinosaur games that I personally feel are more promising because of what they've shown. Not to say that they're better than this, just trailer wise, definitely. There's also a new game we're gonna look at after this as well that has just been um, released. And this scene as well, again, they love this slow-mo epic shots. I get what they're trying to do. It, and one thing I want to uh, say here is that the audio, the, the actual soundtrack itself is beautiful, but I don't think the uh, images and footage used for it really fits. Now, the guy who makes the audio, I did uh, look this up. It's, um, I'll say I looked it up and then I lost him. Daryl, that's it, Daryl. Daryl has done some absolutely beautiful uh, remixes of Jurassic music. And I'm curious as to whether the people who made this game saw him make the Jurassic Park orchestral remixes and Jurassic World orchestral remixes and went, we basically want you to make that for our game because just do that for that. And there's a couple of people that I, I, I follow who make music. Theo Fanny is one of them. Beautiful uh, musician. Um, uses like real instruments and everything like that for the woodwind. And it's it's I, it's out of this world, honestly. Um, but for this one, you, you have, I, I get what he's trying to do or what he's been told. It sounds like they went this uh, remix that you did for Jurassic World, make it into this, make it fit for this. But this shot as well is, I, I, like, what are you showing me? You're showing me a sauropod and it leans up and that's it. And that's supposed to be the big, <gasps> like the drop of the music happens and everything. And then yet. I, I am assuming, you know, none of the modelers of the dinosaurs had anything to do with this shot in particular. This is the guy, an editor, who put this all together, possibly even the main guy behind it, I assume, I don't know, uh, just was like, okay, well, we need to say it's on Steam, go to the website and you can play test it. Um, I feel like after making this video, they're gonna be very, don't let him anywhere near it. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, if you want to turn a critic into a believer, I'm all, I'm more than happy, but I don't know. Leave in the comments, guys, what you think about this. Um, but before we move on to the newest trailer that's been released, I do want to showcase another dinosaur game that is in production that has a similar vibe. But from the trailers, anyway, for me, I think it's shown a lot more promise. Now, very possible that this um, doesn't have a better title. This is called The Lost Wilds, if you remember it. Very similar to The Isle, you've got this, um, like, abandoned tech facility but already we've got animations that feel like they're actually interacting with the environment here you've definitely got some bot like this looks like gameplay it feels like gameplay it might not be but it feels like it and that could be a very scripted event yes but i don't know just something about this this came out 10 months ago two months after instinction came out um and it's, I don't know. It feels like, yeah, they're definitely, this is pre-alpha uh, footage, definitely. It says it in the actual trailer itself. But already I'm seeing gameplay elements. I'm seeing what to expect from this. You've got inventory. You've got like how to avoid dinosaurs. You've got a lot of information being thrown your way in such a short period of time. The Lost Wild. I mean, maybe they're going to do more. <laughs> I'm not too much of a fan of the title. But it definitely just has that polish to it. And not long after they published this, they also published a trailer. So here we go. This is the actual trailer. These both came out in quick succession. But I don't know. I feel like Instinction actually got a budget from Epic, like a grant. I don't know if this one... Maybe it was this one. One of them did. But it definitely feels like this... This looks like a cutscene, 100% with that hand. Um, but this, out of both of them, if I was to be honest, this one seems the more promising. Um, it looks so good! It feels as though I'm, I'm watching a movie. I don't know if I've actually seen this one. <laughs> I think I've only seen the other one of the Alisaur. I've, I've played a lot of indie dinosaur horror games um, and it feels like it's one of those except for it's had a lot of polish put on it and a lot of work. Interesting that they're focusing on one sort of dinosaur. They're focusing on the Allosaur. There might have been another one in there and that's a bet. Yeah, okay, they made a better, better logo now. They put like the islands in or something. I think maybe that's what these are. But anyway, looks a lot better. <laughs> I don't mean to compare. I just, I, for me personally, I don't know. I don't know. I, leave in the comments, tell me what you think. But there is another dinosaur game that's like came out of nowhere. And it's called Ferocious, I think it is. But we'll have a quick look at that trailer. And now that we've got a good background of maybe, you know, games that are coming out uh, that look promising, let's have a look at how this one compares. Right, here it is. Ferocious. PC gaming show. In-game footage, work in progress. Ooh, very true. Hey everyone, guess. my name is Leo and I'm the lead developer of a new action-adventure game, Ferocious. Ooh, okay. I began working Giant on Ferocious crab. a few years ago, with the idea of creating a first-person shooter in a timeless Lost World type of setting, combining all the top action with exploration and a sense of wonder. Looks like... oh, oh okay. That animation could do this. I'll slowly you run away. You were inspired by mysterious places frozen in time that you may have seen in movies like King Kong and Jurassic Park. The aim oh, to the setting is to make gameplay Kong. opportunities with classic first-person shooter mechanics, similar to early installments of franchises like Far Cry and Crisis. The mm. flexibility of the Unity engine allows us to create unique solutions to some of the environmental features, such as custom water effects and realistic vegetation. That gun looks like the same Use as a mix of photo scanned and handcrafted assets to create a world both scary and beautiful. However, there are some things waiting for Yuma Jungle that we couldn't find any reward references for. Soviet improvise. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, very I hope King you guys are excited as I am. Feel free to wishlist and follow the game on Steam. As Whoa, wh when the hell is this coming out? <laughs> okay, so nice that we've got some, like, a developer, it seems, talking us through this. And they actually admit that they've been very inspired by stuff like King Kong because this 
It looks as though they've taken the King Kong game that came out, as well as Turok. That, you know, that one I played where <laughs> it was all about quick time events and uh, wolf pack and all that jazz. This scene alone, it looks like they he just really, really liked the scene from the King Kong when they land on the island and they get stuck because you got a boat knocked against the uh, the rocks there. Not that it's unoriginal, but you got crabs, which is interesting because when you think of a dinosaur game, you don't think, let's put in giant crabs, but the King Kong game actually had giant crabs. So here we go. Not only is he referencing stuff like Skull Island and things like that, but you've also got giant crabs. I don't want crabs, leave me alone. Um, so it's more than just a little bit of inspiration there, I feel. But we're seeing a lot of gameplay here, a lot of things being like, you're shooting your gun, things are reacting to your gun, being shot. Um, yeah, looking really promising. But the fact that this is just kind of came out, out of nowhere, and you can put it on your wish list. Let's have a look. I'm curious. I'll quickly go on Steam and just see when this thing's supposed to come out. Right, okay, so it's publisher's tiny build, but the developer has no other titles behind them. But yeah, I mean, this shot, like that shot right there, Skull Island, 100% Skull. I don't know what kinds of dinosaurs these are supposed to be. Probably not supposed to be any particular dinosaurs. Uh, I assume maybe like a patasaur or something like that. A brontosaur, God knows. Um, but again... I'm not really seeing too much here. It could very easily go the same way Instinction's going and going, we're going tribal. We're going back to freaking Aztec Mayan ruins or something of a similar ilk. Uh, <laughs> and then you, you've got two ways. You've got, let's go prehistoric or let's go futuristic and mess with uh, genetics. Um, and this seems to be the two ways that the <laughs> dinosaur games seem to go. The Isles very much genetics. Um, the, in, the Lost Wilds is genetics. And then old prehistoric is Instinction and now Ferocious. Uh, we're going to link it in with some voodoo magic or God knows what else. Anyway, I just wanted to showcase this um, because it's very interesting that we're getting uh, these games coming out now. And they're all very kind of similar. They're all running on beautiful engines. They're all into like overgrown uh, facilities or places with dinosaurs now. Um, but for me, if I was to rank them, I'd probably put uh, the Lost Wilds up top, possibly then Ferocious, then followed by Instinction. There are other dinosaur games. Remember we had the Left 4 Dead dinosaur uh, game that was announced a long time ago. I can't remember what it was called now. That was it. It was Death Ground, I think. Yeah, the one with the T-Rex that roars in the, uh, when you're in the car. But that, I mean, you know, we've been waiting for that for a long time now, and I, I don't think I've really seen any new things. Yeah, oh my god, the Death Ground trailer came up. Hold, hold on, I'm just gonna put this up here. Hold, hold on. The Death Ground trailer came out two friggin' years ago, and it had the old, you know, raptors there. And yeah, I think they've done a couple of things, but it seems like they're just working on this other game, Gun Jam. Um, but there, here we go. And then eight days ago, from, go, you know, going from a year to eight days ago, all they've showcased is a Raptor teaser, like the new model. Hopefully they're working on it. <laughs> Hopefully. But are they posting news on here is, is the question. That's a year ago. Damn. Within a year, they've only posted four updates. Anyway, guys, I don't know how much there really is left to say when it comes to these dinosaur games. You've got to be incredibly careful. You know, uh, these games that aren't going to Kickstarter, I don't think Instinction is, or any of the other ones like Ferocious or Into the Wilds, seem to have the most promise. Uh, it always feels like when I see a dinosaur game on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, with the exception of uh, Path of Titans, actually, which I was very hesitant about to start with, but then it turned out to be really good. Um, but I, when I always see them go to a Kickstarter, it doesn't feel it doesn't fill me with confidence. And I think Death Ground is is showcasing to me that yeah, that um, that was not a good idea. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, they're, you know they'll come out with a trailer and it'll be amazing or, or something. Maybe they'll an upcoming release date TBC. Um, but anyway, guys, I just want to put it out there because, you know, it's always fun looking at these new dinosaur games and speculating, wondering what they could be. But also, we have to err on the side of caution a lot of the times because, let's be honest, if there's, if there's people out there who want to make a quick buck and if they all they have to do is just put together a pretty trailer for a dinosaur game, then they'll do it. 
And unfortunately, we've all learned our lessons, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye